Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games and today's video is going to be on the top five war shoot, space war units, the top five space marine units you can use from, for space wars from Codex Space Marines and the top five space war stratagems you can use. Uh, but before we get into that, just do a little bit of Housework and bits to clear up. Coming up uh, yeah, next, uh, next, next week on Monday will be my Q and A. If you haven't asked a question, please drop a question either in here or on the, on the uh, last Q and A video, and I'll answer anything, whether it's forty k related or personal please uh if you like the video like what i do on the channel hit the like press the subscribe button press the bell button to stay up to date with all my content right without further ado let's get in to my top five space wall units at number Five. I've got Logan and Ragnar. These two are pretty much obvious choices. Ragnar destroys anything, uh, and Logan on on the uh, Storm Wolfie. He, he gets around the table lightning fast and he can do serious damage. Fourth, number four is Long Fangs. Our uh, best range and shooting unit. Uh, I like, I'm throwing them out at the moment with uh, grab cannons. That, 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 that seems to be pretty cool. Uh, Number three, Wolf Lord on Thunder Wolf. Again, speed and, and the way Ward is makes it a quite useful unit. Thunder Wolf Cavalry, uh, just awesome now. Uh, they their mo moment in the sun. Uh, these aren't in any particular order, they're just a the five units I think you should be looking at taking in the list. Uh, there are notable mentions. Uh, Wolf Ball Guard Terminators, Fenrisian Wolves, I love Fenrisian Wolves, they're cheap, they're fast and they can do a lot of attacks. Now Blood Claws and Sky Claws are the other two. Uh, let me know what you think if you've got this others in the, in the top five I'd love to know now we're going on to the uh, units we can use from uh, codex space marines and number five eradicators that that shoot choice is awesome and they just mount anything on the table blade guard veterans good solid backup to the uh, thunder wolves Sits on the objective, hard to move. One of my favourite plasma inceptors, fast, nice damage output. Deal with all, all sorts from space marines to tanks and anything. The next one is outriders, again, lightning fast. Decent amount of shots, but their, their thing is in combat. 19 attacks on a unit on the charge. And you get get those sixes as well, which produce extra additional hits. You're looking at some real damage output having these charging. I mean, I use mine to sort of just set up 
as a counter ch charge. But they're still really nice. And my, my number one, and I think in this list, you, that will, would have to be the top, is the chaplain on the bike. We, we know it as a wolf priest, but in the Space Marines Codex, it's chaplain. Uh, lightning fast. Again, uh, that 14 inch movement around the board is massive. Decent amount of attacks, uh, decent amount of wounds and healing balms. He can heal himself, he can heal bikes, he can heal the uh, new ATVs, he can heal pretty much infantry as well. So he, there's a lot he can heal uh, for one command point. Makes him really useful. For, I've used it on it on him, and it it means he stays around in uh, combat a lot, a lot longer. And I and I I would definitely have him in every list I've got. Right. Last of all is the top five Space Wolf stratagems. Uh, again, this is just opinion, and there are, are ones here I haven't put in, uh, like healing balms, but the healing balms is a uh, one that you, you're only going to use if you've got a chaplain in your list, so that's why I didn't make it into the actual top five Space Wolf stratagems. Number five, Deed, Worthy of a Saga. So, basically, let's get to the deeds. Let's get to the stretch, just to... Deed worthy of a saga. It basically means use a stratagem in any phase when a Space Force character model, excluding vehicle models from your army, that does have a warlord trait, meets the requirement for a deed. At the end of a phase until the end of a battle, that model gains the saga ability associated with a deed. Useful. To uh, for all her abilities, uh, just giving a rude priest or something that when you need it, just to buff the units. My ne next one is go for a throat. Use a stratagem in your command phase if your assault doctrine is active for your army until your next command phase. Each time a space war model from your army makes an attack with a pistol or melee weapon, an unmodified wound roll of six. Improve the armor pe penetration of that attack by one. This bonus is cum cumulative with combat doctrines. So, in from round three, You're going to get AP2, AP from the combat electrons. With this, it makes your weapon, pistol and your chain sword minus three. You're going to go shred through anything with, with that. For two command points, that is really, really cool. Number three is Savage Strike. It's a one command point or two command point stratagem, depending. Use this stratagem in your fight fights when a Space Force unit from your army is selected to fight. If that unit made a charge move this turn, then until the fight is re resolved, each time a model in that unit makes them really attack, add one to that attack's wound roll. If that unit has five or few, few fewer models, this stratagem costs one command point. If it's got 
five or more, it costs two command points. Pretty good. Pretty decent. Uh, it means things like blood trolls are wounding on twos. And that will be wounding a hit on twos, wounding on threes. Your, your space your, 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 I'd use them on the Thunderwolf Gallery. I mean, they're going to be hitting on, t on threes, but they'll be wounding on twos. Uh, and if you can get a reroll from somewhere along the, the line, they, they're going to be devastating. They'll wipe anything in one, one turn of combat. Now, number two for me is Cunning of a Wolf. Now, one command point that was in the old codex. Use a stratagem during deployment. Select one Space Wolves infantry unit from your army. All models in that unit gain the outflank ability. Basically, you can put them anywhere on the board, more than nine inches away from an enemy unit, and yeah, they have to be within six inches of the board edge. But it's better for strategic reserves because you can get these in your enemy's deployment zone. Um, and that doing this with Ragnar or, or maybe a uh, set of uh, long things or, or such makes it a, a, a quite a decent strat to use. The last one, and probably the top for me, top one for me, is Keen Senses. Now, this one is brilliant on the uh, long fangs, but you can use them on pr pretty much any unit you want. Use this stratagem in your shooting phase. Select one Space Wolves Infantry, Space Wolves Bike or Space Wolves Cavalry unit from your army. To the end of the turn, you can ignore any or all hit roll. Ballistic skill and weapon skill modifiers. And each time you make a charge roll for that unit, you can ignore any or all modifiers for that charge roll. Now, that's only one command point. And and that's that, that means you're hitting hitting on your you know, normal ballistic skill or weapon skill, even if there are modifiers to it. And you then look at the. Uh, other modifiers that come into to play you can be hitting with, on two two pluses and would be uh match that with the uh savage strike you're you're hitting you you can be hitting on twos wounding on twos and just decimating anything that comes, gets in your way. Uh, they're my five top. Is there any that you think are better than that? I've looked through and I I think the, some of the others are a bit more situational, but those five can be used on anything and in any list. But let me know your opinions in the comments down below. And Catch you on the flip side. Thank you for watching. If you have been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.